revoked. Tonight, law enforcement has stepped up patrols in that area to keep students and residents safe. Action News reporter Annie McCormick, she is live at Saad Police Headquarters with the latest on the shooting. Annie, what are you learning about this tonight? Yeah, well, Gray and Shari, initially police thought that this may have been an attempt at robbery, but now they believe that the shooter did pick the victim at random. Before you watch this video, people at home, if you recognize this person, please want to remind people that there is always a $20,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest and a conviction in all open homicides in the, in the city of Philadelphia. The chilling surveillance video shows this unidentified gunman shooting and killing 23-year-old Everett Beauregard outside of his apartment at 35th and Spring Garden just after midnight Thursday morning. Beauregard, a Temple graduate who was living near Drexel University's campus, was coming home from a get-together in South Philadelphia. Video shows the culprit circling the block for at least an hour before the shooting. Police say no words were exchanged between the two and the victim was picked at Random. Turned out to be Mr. Beauregard, but I think it could have been anyone else who was walking around in that area at that time of night. In response to the fatal shooting, Drexel police have increased patrols and the amount of their police officers in the area. Additionally, campus officials urge students to utilize the Drexel Guardian app and to reach out to Drexel police for an escort home. Certain areas around the campus is like, it's like nice, but you know, still got to watch your surroundings. I feel like we've always kind of known that here was dangerous, so it's just kind of like more of like a wake up call, I guess. We always try to have like a walking partner or something and probably use more of like Drexel's escorts um, to walk home. Ahead of a Friday night on campus, we checked in with students. Some say they have used escorts before and will again. Usually it doesn't usually take more than 10 minutes. So like I would usually just stay where I am until they get there and then I meet them like downstairs and then we walk together until we get home. And Beauregard's family did release a statement yesterday saying that he did a work with the Democratic campaigns for the presidential 2020 election. He also worked on the campaign of Congressman Brendan Boyle, who yesterday told us in an interview that he was a young man who had a bright future ahead of him. For now, reporting live outside of Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Annie McCormick for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Yeah, your heart just breaks watching that video.